This is a Traxxas Emax. It's a little dirty. I'm going to start to go clean it up now. Get all the dust off of it. I'm going to use a couple of things. Just going to spray all this on. Not going to worry about anything else. Grab a toothbrush. Work it around. Paper towel. Maybe a microcord. Nothing in this world is ever going to be perfectly clean. So I take a brush. I get into the nicks and crannies after everything's all drying up. People are going to be complaining. Don't use WD-40. So I got this waterproof silicone. I'm just going to go simply give a nice overcoat. Take a little more time and wipe it clean. Oh, it may not be the way you do things, but it's the way I done mine. Well, at least I got my car as clean as I can get. And I'm ready for my next step. Now what's that going to be? Brushless converted system. This is basically a motor. It's known as a four pole BL motor 3670 at a 2150 Kelvin. Or KV, do apologize. This is a 5645 millimeter gear along with a 4560 amp ESC. Off we go, making our install. I got some thread Loctite, it's blue. I got some M3 bolts, they're located in here. These are my existing gears. And I have a magnet tray that I could put some things and right now, this is the only uh, keys I got besides the Husky, which would be a little hard to put in. I know I need a little bit more to get this stuff in, but let's get going. I'm going to simply first line things up. They already put Loctite on the bolt. So I don't have to now add any Loctite. I don't want to bolt things down. I want to make sure I'm flush. That my gear will sit in here. I want to see how close I can get it. And that looks pretty good. It's off by just a hair. People say you have to take this area and convert it to brushless. I'm leaving my gears alone. I'm not after top speed. I'm not sure if this is for this particular product, but I have a 1900 KV that I could put in here a little slower. Some people may differ when putting these things on. I already tightened up my Allen key. I'm going to put on the shaft to the outside. I am going to give it just a little space and I'm going to now tighten it down. As long as I'm matched up, I should be pretty happy and that's not bad at all. My next step is to put the bolts through and put some Loctite, allow them to dry, keeping it away from any, anything that is plastic. There are my bolts, here's my Loctite. I don't want my wires sticking up in case of a crash. So I am going to put them sideways. I'm going to see if I can line up a uh, bolt to the motor. The old dollar trick. I'm going to try to get my mesh correctly situated.
I'm not sure what to expect in this uh, ESC, but let's open it up. There's no tear points. It's waterproof. It's big. Dean's plugs. Four pole position with the ESC wire, servo receiver, and a nice on and off switch. I'm going to put the cover on before I do anything else so I can make sure I got the correct room. This is all tightened and checked out and all that good stuff. Ah man, only if my tools would come when they're supposed to, I could get everything taken care of. So let's reclose everything the best we can. Ah, wherever I left off before. Putting the uh, cover on, the gear may just hit a little, so right now a little modification was needed. Put a, a, a washer, or what you call is a gasket, and this is my receiver. Do a little modification here with uh, a cover to seal this up to make it waterproof if you want. And the ESC is going to go here. The wire will be just long enough to reach for the motors. And the battery will go to one side or the other. And then just wrap it up. And you're pretty good to go. Different diameter in the shaft. That's a 5 millimeter. that's on the truck in blue. This is 2 plus on the uh, brush Titan. This is a Traxxas 5mm gear, as well as this one. They should be uh, similar in the teeth. Notice the wider diameter around the shaft of where you're going to lock everything in. And this is narrower. That's going to give us an issue when they go in like so. This is going to have a lot of play. This is not going to have any play. And when you put the cover on, that's going to put pressure and it's going to make noise. Hard to see, there is a little notch right here. If I take this piece and I cut it off, put a bottle cap on, it may be a little too narrow. But it gives me the wideness I need. Painted black, JBL glue. So right now, for me, until I find a fix, I use a little gasket that I made just on top. It allows me to have enough uh, spread to keep it off of there. I got both sides. I could experiment by filing. I could experiment by finding a better cap and closing this up. Just want to let you know when this cover now goes on securely. Why? Why do we need to uh, file that down when I push the car? It's going to lock or it's going to make a, a louder noise. And we want to make sure this thing goes freely. Are there any other drawbacks at this given time that we need to fix? Uh, just the switch, tidying up the wires, making sure the antenna stays up freely, and making sure that my high-low gear goes into play correctly, the right way. We're ready to uh, figure out how to do that mod to fix this particular gear. Self-adhesive, the receiver the ESC and just placed in with the on and off. It should go here, but there are no screws that fit. And the wires will be tucked in. And I'm all set, ready to give almost a test run. And once everything is uh, running, all of this could be tucked in. And that's something that I did not modify my gear, my big gear but the motor is brushless and this is brushless and this can be interchangeable to other systems so there you have it for now my system it looks pretty good at fast i'm just going to give a little test run here 
my battery is going to go this particular way on both of them because you can't put them in there you have to modify the uh, brackets and all it's a waterproof ESC it's the uh, fly sky receiver could get a waterproof box my steering my third channel should click over by hitting one of these buttons works out perfectly right here and giving some gas and reverse making sure there are no shorts in the wire everything now needs to be tightened up purchase a waterproof box for the receiver this is waterproof waterproof need to uh, spray lubricate and we're good to uh, complete our kit all right ladies and gentlemen a quick test and we're going to get on the road nothing's fancy just a little ride need some adjustments to the uh, steering that's for sure Overall, I'm very pleased with the 2.4 brushless overhaul. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for viewing. For further information about this, please visit my channel. Please rate, comment, show some love. Thank you for viewing. Have a great day.